When I'm uh, doing work, it's always good to take a break. And so once in a while, or what I've got actually is my NES and um, my Sega uh, hooked up. And what I like about them is unlike uh, a lot of modern games, you can sit and play them forever and ever and ever. And as you can play these games forever, they do have, like you can play just a couple levels and just turn the TV off and come back to it, um, which I like. It, it's nice to take short breaks. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. What I want to look at is, uh, turn this monitor off. Uh, what I want to look at is uh, noise, right? So these uh, these game consoles, they send their data via analog, which I realize isn't digital, but it's still noise. Um, it's sending data for, you can kind of think of it as each pixel has its color. And so when none of these are on, and I turn on the TV to channel three, as you should should have it set up. Oop, maybe the TV's not gonna turn on. Uh, uh oh, this is embarrassing. Oh, there we go. So right now, nothing's getting there. And so the only thing that the TV is getting is noise. This is what noise looks like. In fact, it's called white noise. Um, and so if I uh, turn on my console, so we'll see who's... You, people watching this might be too young to have a preference of Sega versus Nintendo. I really have no preference either, but uh, I'm going to turn on the Nintendo because it actually is a little bit noisier. In its defense, it's a little bit older than the Sega. So I'm going to turn it on. And you can see some... Uh, I've got Batman here. But what I want, to, want you to pay attention to is there's this static here. And these little dots are uh, are pieces of pixel data that um, got corrupted, meaning that the TV doesn't actually know what to, what to do with them. It doesn't know what the color should be. And you, you can actually see that it's increasing as uh, some of the things get more complex. Um, so these, these are just examples. Uh, of noise, and it's probably because the circuit's old, and because it, it's going through uh, a, two converters, one of the converters for this, and another converter here, so I've got like these converters that are linked up together, and there's another converter there. And so the more, look at, I move those, and it even caused more noise. So, noise happens, uh, and so that's why it's important to be able to address it, and potentially uh, correct it. And also, if you haven't played Batman Returns on the NES, I recommend it. It's a lot of fun.